what's going on guys random comic here me and some kind of hate did attend that call of duty tournament uh but i really don't want to spoil that much of what happened i already did like a 20 minute long commentary talking about it it's 20 minutes because i talk a lot of crap and i really get in depth about what happened but the only thing i'm going to say is that some disappointing uh events occurred and it was pretty frustrating so i'll just leave, leave it at that um i do say in the video uh, you know, pretty much covering the whole thing. So if you guys were wondering about that, you uh, I'll post that later so you guys can uh, watch that. But in this video, I just want to talk about uh, Homefront. So Homefront is coming out tomorrow, which today is Monday. So uh, it'll be coming out tomorrow, and I'll be at a midnight release. But I'm not going to upload immediately at midnight just because somebody messaged me. Uh, I forgot who it was, but somebody at Machinima said that you can't upload gameplay of it until after it, this was odd because it, it didn't really have a specific time but it just said do not upload at the midnight release so I wasn't 100% sure when to upload but I'll try to upload you know sometime in the morning maybe 5 4 o'clock in the morning so it won't be extremely extremely you know early but it will be sometime within there where I think is a good enough extent not the midnight release because there wasn't really any fine line of like do not upload at five o'clock you know so if I'm not uploading at midnight I think it's fine for me to upload at four o'clock so I think that's fine um but I will be uploading that and there was another thing that the rule was was do not upload the ending of the campaign which really kinda reassured me I was like wow that must mean that the campaign is really good and the the ending must be just you know icing on the cake and it must be wonderful and all this so that kind of reassured me that even if this multiplayer isn't able to pull off what I'm looking for maybe the solo campaign can be good enough to uh, satisfy you know <laughs> somebody that was really looking forward to a multiplayer but honestly the I guess the single player is relatively short it's only like five hours and Woody's Gamertag made a video called like Homefront Review he was at PAX East and I guess he either got to play it or he watched it for like 15 minutes and it, he said it was the first negative review he's ever given which uh, Hutch put out a perfect uh, tweet replying to everybody saying you know like <laughs> you know getting all crazy about what he said and he was Hutch said he was really looking forward to Homefront and everybody was like well Woody said it was horrible you know and I'm really not uh, you know starting anything between anybody like that but I'm just trying to give you guys all the facts of what happened and basically if you guys are using that as your reference point on whether or not to buy this game do not base it off of that because it really is you can't review a game when you're at a tech demo it's the tech demo is different from a full release game I don't know if you can there's no way to get a hundred percent experience from just like a demo that's like one of the first levels in the game they never show you any level past like the first level if they do it's very very you know early in the campaign so that's when the game is teaching you a story is teaching you this teaching you that and honestly I mean that's why I'll be covering a lot I'll play the campaign I'll play the multiplayer and just wait until you see more reviews and you can't always depend on uh, you know gaming websites sometimes they're totally off and sometimes they are they have different intentions that you don't know about which uh, <laughs> some examples uh, you know this is a weird example but it, it does kind of ring true you can't always believe everything you see because there's this one documentary about uh, food and like the social uh, community or how can you say community social life of Americans about uh, McDonald's and fast food it was called supersize me and I recently watched a documentary saying like somebody that was suing McDonald's was the person that actually ran the budget on that movie so how reliable of a source is it when the people that are being so negative towards McDonald's are actually suing them so you can't always get a hundred percent credibility from everything you read so just please either follow me and I'll give you guys a true honest opinion about it or follow somebody else that you think has true intentions but Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, the gameplay is not very important. It was just something so I could talk over. <laughs> I'm using like this past 12, I'll go 27 and 2. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a rate on it and like it. 
I'd appreciate that. And stay tuned for Homefront, guys. It's coming. I'll be uploading a lot of it soon, so just stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.